Hello and welcome back to our tutorial series, episode 10B. Uh, today we're going to be working on setting up our draw pile in our discard pile and cycling cards between those two as we use them. Let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to start here by setting up our discard manager. So to do that, you're just going to right click in our scripts, create C sharp script, discard manager. Let's go ahead and open it up. So you can go ahead and delete what we have here. All right. And uh, we're going to start by setting up a few variables. So we want to have a list, which is going to be our discards, our discarded cards. We're going to have a reference to our TextBest Pro, which if you highlight this, you can quick fix and add using TM Pro. And you see, we also have a little red squiggly underneath our card. To fix this, you just need to add the namespace that you are using for your project. So next we want to go ahead and set up our awake method. So we have awake and we're just gonna call our update discard count. So our update discard count is a very simple method. What we're doing, we're just updating the text display for our count of cards in our discard pile. So we're gonna get the um, discard count text and we're gonna set it to the count of our discard cards list. And we gotta set it to string. And then we also are gonna set this discard cards count to the count of our discard cards. So now that we have that set up, we need a bunch of different methods to be able to add, remove, reset our discard pile. So let's go ahead and start with a simple add to discard script or method. So we just put in public void add to discard card card is going to be our input. And then if card equals null, then we don't do anything, but we can do discard cards dot add and we're add card. And we're going to call update discard count. Just to make sure that our count is updated every time we add a card to it. And next, if we want to pool the top card from our discard pile, we need a method for that. So we're going to do a uh, public card. So it's going to return our card and then uh, pool from discard. So if the count of our discards is greater than zero, then we're going to look for our card. Um, it's going to be the last card in the pile. So that's why we're doing the count minus one. And then we want to remove at the count minus one. So removing that top card. And then we are updating our counts for our cards. And then we are re returning the card to return. If uh, discard cards count is zero, then we just return null. So next we need to consider if we want to pull a specific card from our list, from our discard cards list. So public bool, so it's gonna, this is gonna return true or false. Pool selected card from discard, card, card. So the reason why we're doing a bool and we're not returning the card is because we're already importing or inputting the card that we want to pull. So obviously whatever is calling this method already knows what card it wants. So first we check and make sure that discard cards count is greater than zero. And then we check and make sure that it actually contains that card. Next, we remove that card from the list. We update the counts and return true. And unless, uh, if we can't do that, then we just return false. Finally, if we need to return all the cards, we're gonna do public list cards, so returning the list of the cards, pull all from discard. So again, we're making sure that our card count is greater than zero. And then we are returning 
a new list, which is our list of discarded cards. And then we're clearing that list and we're updating our accounts and then we're returning that list. And the reason why we do new list, because we've, if we don't have that new here, then it's gonna return our discarded cards list, which we just cleared. So that's why we need to make sure we do new list. And then if there are no cards in it, then we just return a blank list. So let's go ahead and save that. And then we want to go ahead and make that object and also make a display for our counts in our game. So back inside of our Unity editor, we're going to create empty underneath our canvas. And we're going to name this Discard Manager. Let's go ahead and add that component. And then on here, I'm going to create UI in Text Mesh Pro. I'm going to name this Discard Count. And then I'm going to make a child underneath it and I'll name this Title. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and set the position or the alignment for this to zero or to middle and middle. I'm gonna change the text to zero. And sorry, actually I meant for this to be another UI Text Mesh Pro. And I can just call this discard pile. And then I'm going to set the position of this over to the side. So I'm going to do it at 700 and then negative to 75. Okay. And then I'm going to set its width to 100, 100. Auto size. And then I'm going to set the tile, the title above it. By, let's see, is 100 enough? That's too much. 70. Um, let's do 60. 60 looks good. Again, I want this centered as well. Let's center that. And then I'll change the font to this regular font that we have. Change it to the Joss font uh, for both of them. Make sure it's centered on both. Okay. And then back over in our discard manager, I'm gonna drag our discard count, and this will update our discards. So for instance, if I set this to one right now and hit play, it'll reset it back to zero and display zero. All right, let's go ahead and get working on our draw pile. So for our draw pile, um, the thing is that we actually have a lot of methods inside of our deck manager that kind of belongs in our draw pile script. So let's go ahead and just create that script. So we're gonna call it draw pile manager. Let's open it up and then We can delete what's in there for right now. And we're going to go ahead and start out by making a new list of cards. And again, it's not doesn't have our personal namespace, so we need to add that in there. And then we need to get some methods and scripts and everything that are currently stored in our deck manager. So let's open up our deck manager script. And what we can basically do is we basically select this entire thing. We're going to copy it. 
and then we're going to go over to our draw pile manager and we're going to paste it. So I didn't, I didn't copy, you know, this first list because we don't need that exact list. I'll paste it in here. You can see it's having a reference to all cards, but doesn't exist. So we're going to select our all cards here. We're going to do, we're going to go to rename symbol. Let's say it can't be renamed. So let's say we can just copy our draw pile thing. Everywhere it says draw pile, we're just going to put draw pile. Makes sense. Okay, so we actually need to make a whole bunch of changes here. Because although these methods are good, they kind of don't work in a correct logical order for the way you actually want to run a game. So first, in our start, we can just go ahead and delete everything that's in here. And all we need to do is we make sure that we're setting our hand manager. So hand manager equals find object of type and manager. Okay, and then up here in our methods, we actually need to add couple of things, so private discard manager, discard manager, and then public text mesh pro UGUI draw pile counter. So this is going to function similarly, similarly to our discard manager or keeping track of our draw pile. And in case it didn't add it for you automatically, make sure you add using TM Pro. So before we move on, um, I went ahead and saved this, but, but we need to go ahead and we need to make a new utility script. This is going to be a basic script that's going to store a bunch of utilities that we need to use by, in multiple scripts. So let's jump back over to our inspector or our Unity editor. We're going to right click, create. C sharp script, and we're just going to name this utility. Okay, so we can actually just go ahead and select everything and delete everything. Right now, we can add back in using system dot collections dot generic because we're going to need that for our first method that we're putting in here, which is just going to be a shuffle. So we're going to do namespace and then use your custom namespace or the custom namespace that you're using for this project. Okay. And then we go ahead and declare the class as a static class. And we're going to name it utility. Okay. Then we need a new static method, public static void we're naming this shuffle and it needs to be um it needs to kind of have this wild card in there which is t which is kind of a wild card for any type okay and then we can do list and again we're looking for that t list so this allows us to input any type of list and then have this shuffle it and return it back to us. Okay, so then we need to get a random So this is how we are getting just a random um, shuffle, basically. Okay. And then we're going to do some fancy schmancy stuff here. So n is going to be the count of the list. And then where n equals the count minus 1, i is, uh, or where i equals n minus 1, i is less than zero, i minus minus. Then we are going to go through our entire list 
and just shuffle it. Which is what this is doing right here. Um, if you're interested to know what this line is, right here, what this is called is it is a this what this is called is this is a tuple swap syntax. Basically, what it's doing is it's going randomly in our list and it's randomly finding cards and it's randomly jumbling them. That's all you really need to know. If you want to learn more about it, uh, do some googling. It's uh, T U P L E swap. Tuple swap. So back in our draw pile manager, what we want to do next is after our update method, we want to add a way to make our draw pile. So to do this, we're going to do public void make draw pile. And we're going to input a list of cards. We're going to name this cards to add. So this is going to be our input for this method. So all we need to do is we need to add that entire list of cards. And then we need to call our utility.shuffle. And then you want to update our draw pile count, which we don't have that method yet, but let's go ahead and write it. So we can do, we're gonna do it after our draw card method that we copied over. And this is just gonna be a private void update draw pile count. And we're just gonna set our draw pile counter equal to draw pile dot count dot shrink oh I'm sorry I mix I missed the dot text here okay so next we need a way to draw our cards, as remember that was happening in kind of the start of our deck manager. So after we're making our draw card, or our uh, make a draw pile, we're going to do a public void. We're going to call this battle setup. And we're going to take two arguments here. First, it's going to be number of cards to draw. Next, it's going to be our number to set our max hand size. Okay, so we're going to do max hand size equals set max hand size. You can see because we don't have our max hand size set up here. And then next what we want to do is we want to draw cards equal to our number of draw cards input. And all that's doing is it's showing to our hand manager and calling our draw card method inside of our hand manager. And all that's doing is it's going down to our draw card method and taking the input of our hand manager. Okay, so let's go down to our draw card. So we actually need to make a bunch of changes here. So inside of our first check, if draw pile count is zero, we should have, what we actually want to do now is we want to refill deck from discard. And this is a method that we don't have yet. So let's go down here and we're going to go ahead and make our, that method. So it's going to be private void refill deck from discard. And first we want to check if we have a reference to our discard manager. And if we don't have a reference to our discard manager, we go ahead and fill that out.
Next, we check if our discard manager is null. And we check to make sure that the count of the cards is greater than zero. Okay, so then we do draw pile. Remember, that's the list of cards that we made up here. And then that we set in our make draw pile. So then our draw pile is going to equal our discard manager pool all from discard. Remember, that's a method that we created in our discard manager that copies and returns our entire list of discarded cards. Then we're going to call that utility shuffle. We're going to set our current index to zero because our current index is how we draw the next card in our hand. So let's go back to our draw card method. And we need to add a couple things in here. So first we're going to do draw pile dot remove at current index. This means that once we draw a card, it's going to be removed from our draw pile. Next, we need to do a check to make sure that our draw pile is not empty. And if it's not empty, then we can go ahead and set our current index to the count of our draw pile. Okay, let's go ahead and save that. And before we can test any of this out, we actually have to make a bunch of changes to our deck manager. So let's jump over to our deck manager and start taking care of that. Okay, so inside of our deck manager, I'm gonna go ahead and just select all the way up to our where we add the cards to our all cards list. I'm gonna delete all of that. And I'm gonna close out our start method. So just to review, this is what the script looks like right now. Okay, so inside of our awake method, we need to go ahead and set our managers. Uh, we do need to add two more variables up here. We private draw pile manager, draw pile manager, private pool. Start battle run. We're going to set this equal to true. Okay. And then inside of our awake, we're just going to check and see if our draw pile manager and hand manager are null. And if they are, we're just going to go ahead and find them and set them. And then in our void update, we're going to do if start battle run is true, then we need to go ahead and run battle setup, which is a method that we're going to go ahead and make right now. So public. Void battle setup, and then we're going to do hand manager dot battle setup, which we haven't made yet, but we will draw pile manager dot make draw pile. And we're going to input our all cards. Well, that reminds me, on this battle setup for the hand manager, we want to go ahead and input our max hand size. Because from now on, we're setting our hand size inside of this script. So up here, on this hand size, we're going to set equal to 12. Okay, and then back down here, we're going to draw pile manager dot battle setup. We're going to put in our starting hand size and our max hand size. 
So remember our starting hand size is set to six currently and our max hand size is set to 12. And we'd actually delete this current index because we don't need that anymore. And back down in our battle setup, we're going to do start battle run equals false. And then we can go and save this script. And we want to open up our hand manager script next. So inside of our hand manager script, we're going to go to this max hand size and we're going to delete the setting get to 12. And then we can go on down to right after our update. We're just gonna do public void battle setup. We're gonna take in an int of set max hand size. And then we're gonna just set max hand size to set max hand size. Pretty simple. Go and save that, and then we're going to go back into our editor. So we're getting thrown an error right here saying that our deck manager no longer has our draw card method, which is being thrown because inside of our editor folder, we have this script that made a button for our deck manager that we could click inside the inspector and it would draw a card. So let's just go inside of here and we can actually change this to uh, here. We can change this to draw file manager editor. Just copy this and or copy draw pile manager. And anywhere it says deck manager, we just replace. Then we can save that and then go back to our gate. All right, so underneath the canvas, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create empty. I'm going to name this our draw pile manager. And then I'm actually going to go ahead and just duplicate our discard count. I'm going to rename this draw pile manager out and I'm just going to set its position to the opposite side of the screen from our discard pile and rename the tile to draw pile. And then inside of our draw to pile manager I'm going to add the script and then I'm going to drag our draw pile counts into the inspector and now, whenever we hit play, it should all work. So we have something going wrong here. We do have our draw pile. We have all of our cards in here, but we're not drawing our initial hand. Let's figure out what's going on. Well, one thing that we have to do that I found is that um, it caches this uh, max hand size to zero because that's what it was before. We just have to set to 12 and then go to your game manager, overrides, apply all. And that should fix the issue. See, now we've got all of our cards being drawn. We can put them out here and we can make sure that our other stuff is working correctly. And we can look at our draw pile manager, tell it to draw cards. You can see it's in a different order now because it's shuffling them. And our draw pile and discard pile positioning looks good. 
So one thing that I forgot is that in our draw pile manager, when we are drawing a card, we need to go ahead and also call the update draw pile count to make sure that that is staying accurate as well. So we're at zero in our draw pile and zero in our discard pile. So something's not working right to where we're not putting our cards in our discard pile correctly. So let's take a look at our card movement script because that's where that's supposed to be happening. Yeah, I forgot that. Um, I forgot it in here that I needed to go ahead and add them to our discard pile. So we can go to So discard manager, discard manager equals find object of type. We're going to do discard manager. Okay. And then we're going to do discard manager dot add to discard. And then we need to get components. We're going to do hard display dot hard data. And that's how we're going to be adding our cards to our discard pile. We can save that and jump back into our game. We hit play. And now whenever we play a card, it's going over into our discard pile. So we can draw some more cards. And see, now we're getting to zero in our draw pile, and we've got eight in our discard pile. We hit draw next card, and it's going to shuffle everything in our discard pile into our draw pile. And then it's going to shuffle those cards and then pull out in your group and see this is all everything's in our draw pile now so for me i'm done with uh you know using the draw pile manager to draw next card so what i want to do is i'm going to go to our canvas right click ui i'm going to do button text Match pro and i'm going to call this uh draw card button and then in the text i'm actually just going to disable it for the width and the height of it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set that to 100 by 100. Okay, and I'm going to change the sprite to... This one looks good. Okay. And its position is going to be negative 700 because that puts it even with that. And its Y position, I'm going to put just above the count. So one, negative 125 looks about right. And then on the button, I'm going to do on click. I'm going to add, and then I'm going to drag my oops didn't mean to do that i'm gonna drag my draw pile manager into this slot for the on click event and then for the function i'm going to draw pile and then it's going to be draw card it asks for a hand manager so i can just drag our hand manager into there now I should be able to hit play and then hit draw card So one of the very last things that we need to do here is we need to go ahead and since things are getting a little complicated and we don't want to lose our progress, one thing to ensure that you always have the things that you need is we're going to drag our canvas over into our prefabs, save that as a prefab. We're going to drag our grid manager over to our prefabs, save that as prefab. 
So that way if something happens and this disappears, we can just drag everything back in. We don't need to save main camera and vent system because they're just basics right now. There's no nothing special about them. Um, and then I'll go and save my project. And yeah, that's it for today. I don't really have any homework for y'all for this lesson, unfortunately. Um, I think we just need to keep moving on and keep, uh, keep working on our projects. So next episode, what we're going to be working on is we're going to be working on creating a new type of card uh, that, are, that cause uh, special effects. These are going to be skill cards or spell cards. Don't know what I want to call them yet. But basically what they're going to do is they're going to like buff the attack of certain um, characters or buff your overall attack, things like that. So we'll work on that in the next episode. And I'll see you then.